to accomplish. The other thing I think that's very important to break out of is the silos in which we discuss these issues. There's people who are into the environment and climate change. There's people that are into development and poverty. There's people who are into conflict and confl conflict prevention. There's people who study military matters. We've got to change it all, and we've got to come out of our silos and have a bigger picture about all these instruments and the, that will bring about the kind of transformation that we need. Just to remind ourselves, we've, the world will be gone in a billion years. The sun will burn out and we'll be gone. You know, the, in the physics lecture, the student said, what did you say? How long? And the lecturer said, a billion years. And he said, oh, thank goodness for that. I thought you said a million years. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, isn't it? Because a million is still very long. But the point is, we do know we'll come to an end. Everyone, or anyone who accepts any science of any kind, knows that, um, that the sun will burn out and we'll be gone. And yet we behave as though we're invincible. The planet's here for us for all time. You know, we will go on indefinitely. And you know, we're only 160,000 years old. Involved in what is now Ethiopia and then spread from Africa around the world. Africa is our cradle. And for all but the last 10,000 years, we were hunter-gatherers little bands of us roaming around, getting some berries and the occasional bit of hunting. We ate a bit of meat, but mostly, I think, fruit and vegetables. Um, but perhaps since the Industrial Revolution and the great achievements of science and technology, and also, of course, fossil fuels, which we thought were there forever and to be taken for granted, um, can I remember the figure? One barrel of oil, I think the world consumes 89 billion a year. One barrel of oil is the equivalent of five men working 12 hours a day for a year. I mean, it's extraordinary. So if you think of it as pre-industrial revolution, just the pure physical labor that humans had to engage in to get everything done, and what fossil fuels have done for us. And now, of course, we realize um, it's a finite resource and no doubt its price is going to escalate and then we're going to have to rely less on less on it. But I think maybe since the Industrial Revolution or maybe since Genesis, we've had an arrogance about the world and about ourselves, that it's all there for us, that we're superior to other creatures, that we can have our own way and use the resources of the world, um, that we really need to check. We want to survive we need a little bit more humility about our record and what we've done and not achieved um, and we need to remind ourselves that many previous civilizations have ended many romans greeks south american and so on and many species dinosaurs lived on in the world for 160 million years and we're only 160,000 years old and we see them as these funny lovable, if we're children, um, primitive creatures. Well, they, they survived on this planet far longer than we're likely to unless we change our way. So my first point is that we need to look much more holistically at what we're doing and much more honestly at our record. We need to bring together our thinking that is concerned with these troubles. Um, and we need to remember uh, what a short time we've lived in the planet and how many civilizations have, have died off and not take for granted our, our survival.